as you can see, I've literally put every single one of my favorite frozen foods out on the table. Today, we are talking about frozen foods and what are the healthiest, or my favorites, um, to eat when you're on the go, when it's like super convenient and easy for you to do. So, before everything melts, let's jump into this now, okay? So, you'll notice that what I've got here is a wide range. I've got some pre-made meals, I've got some vegetables, I've got some desserts and some sweets, and I'm really excited because I think everyone struggles with finding convenient, healthy options. I mean, how many of us have gone takeout or fast food because we don't feel like cooking, right? And sometimes just the thought of having to do something from scratch in the kitchen sounds horrible, right? You got a lot of other things going on in your life. You do not want to sit in the or stand in the kitchen and make a whole meal for like an hour. Not to mention cleanup, because you know the cleanup takes a bit, right? So I am like the queen of fast and easy foods. <laughs> I don't like to cook too much. I don't like to get too crazy or fancy in my meals. I don't like the cleanup. It's one of the things I hate the most. And I live alone, right? So if I don't do it, no one will. So why would I put myself through that? So if you guys have felt like me, whether it's because you live alone or maybe it's because you actually have a lot of family at your house and it just sounds like too much work. Well, today I got you, all right? So let's dive into this. I don't want to take up too much time, but I do recommend you go and buy these. I literally went to HEB yesterday and I spent the entire time in the frozen section. I did not leave that area, all right? So all of this stuff is really easy to find at HEB. If you don't know what HEB is, it is a local grocery store here in Texas, but you can go to your Safeway, your Fries, your Kroger, anywhere, and you'll pretty much find the same stuff, okay? So let's jump into this. One of my favorite breads, because I am not one of those people that will give up carbs. No way, no how. But I do like to get better choices for my bread. This is one of them. If you guys haven't tried it, it's Ezekiel bread. Okay, they have a couple different options, like a low sodium, a multigrain, blah, blah, blah. But what I love about them is that when you look at the amount of carbs and fiber, this actually has a good amount of fiber. It's like three grams for 15 grams of carbs, okay? So it's a good option for you guys. I usually make this as a toast, but it stays in the freezer all the time, okay? So definitely go find this in the freezer aisle, usually in the healthy living section, and it's orange, okay? Quickly with the veggies. I know veggies kind of suck sometimes, but if you think about it this way, they are some of the easiest things to just pop in the microwave and just get started, right? Salt, pepper, maybe some lemon, whatever floats your boat, but I've got a few different options for cauliflower rice, right? Replacing some of your rice with this, like going half and half, will still make you feel like you have rice, but it's cauliflower, so it's not that bad, right? So I've got a couple cauliflower uh, options there, and I've got some broccoli. Look at this big old bag of, this is like a Normandy blend, but it has like all kinds of stuff, cauliflower, carrots, broccoli, so this is a good option. And then I got a broccoli version of that too. So it's like a pound of vegetables. Lasts for a long time, take out a few, microwave them, and you're ready to go, okay? Um, when it comes to potatoes and I'm craving fries, right, um, I do tend to like, like to have like a piece of, like maybe like fish and some fries next to that if you want. Makes it really simple. These are by far the best. Anything Alexia, I'm down with, okay? And they're, when it comes to like ingredients, it's not like super overwhelming. They're sweet potato waffle fries. And I love these, you guys. Tater tots, they call them potato puffs, but it has a dash of sour cream and chives. Honestly, when it comes to looking at the carbs for this, it doesn't make it, it doesn't sound like it's a lot, right? So definitely try these out if you haven't. And oh, here are some more veggies. Marinated veggies, these are eggplant, peppers, and zucchini with an Italian blend of herbs and blah, 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 right? So try to find these. Um, anytime that you can get a mixture of veggies, 
in a frozen meal, that's like awesome because then you're getting variety, you're getting a little bit of like balsamic vinegar in there, it's tasting good, and you can just throw this in with your meal, making it super easy. All right, and then what else do I got veggie related? I got some steam fresh Brussels sprouts. Again, just get frozen stuff, especially now with quarantine. I think it's a, it was a lot easier to find frozen than fresh for a while there. So if you're going through that situation or you know whatever whatever the problem is, um, frozen just lasts longer, and you can still have a healthy option to add to your plate. Okay. Uh, in terms of pizzas, how many of us crave a Friday night pizza? Up, right? You're sitting there watching Netflix, you're like, oh, I just want some takeout, you know? I always tell my girls to eat Amy's, and if you're a one person at home, grabbing the single serving pack is really helpful, okay? Right now, I think there's like a little bit of a shortage. I don't know if it's because of quarantine, but um, the pesto is the only one I can find for like the last month. My favorite's usually the margarita, um, but I get the single servings because I don't want to eat the whole thing, right? And if I'm by myself, leftover pizza does not taste that good, okay? So I would get this one and you don't feel guilty, it's less than 500 calories. And I'm like, you're good, you get your craving fixed. Do not add ranch though. <laughs> so if you need to dip it in like balsamic vinegar or something, that is literally my signature move, all right? So definitely recommend this, okay? And I found some extra things that I don't really get too often, but I thought that these were interesting. So you get, um, this is like a protein bowl. It's one meal, completely, like all the things you need. Um, there is no meat, so but it has 14 grams of protein without meat, which I think is amazing. So what I would recommend is like getting this, microwaving it, maybe adding some chicken, which I got right here, okay? So this is grilled chicken breast frozen Take out a few, pop it in, heat it up, throw it on top of your bowl, and you got a meal. And you don't feel guilty because it's actually like pretty low calorie. This is less than 300, and then you add some protein for 100, boom, you're there, right? Um, and then another thing I haven't tried yet, but I'm really excited for, I there's like this new brand, Eating Well. I do not get Lean Cuisines or any of the other uh, like frozen dinner meals or whatever they're called simply because when you look at the sodium content it is through the roof you guys so try not to get those um, plus to me they just don't taste that good um, and there's a lot of salt so try to find something like this right where it specifically talks like their whole thing is like protein and they they market themselves a little bit more healthy okay so you always want to look at the back and look at the nutrition labels um, so that you feel a little bit better about what you're getting. Do not just look at the calorie count. There's a lot of other things on the nutrition label you should be looking at before you even get to the calories. All right, so just keep that in mind. But this one is Thai style peanut chicken. 25 grams of protein, love it. So I'm gonna, I'm really excited to try this. And a couple other things that I got, I'm trying to make this real quick, you guys. But um, I got some Cool Whip. I always like to have this on hand when I'm eating like any type of fruit. Just put a dollop on it and I don't feel guilty and it's pretty sweet, right? So good option if you like sweets and you can't, you know, um, <laughs> you have like that craving on a regular basis, okay? Speaking of other sweets, this is by far my favorite thing to do. So I get Halo Top. This one is just vanilla. My favorites are vanilla and chocolate chip cookie dough. And then what I do, if you get these little cookie dough pieces, they've got some chocolate versions and whatever, but it's the Ben and Jerry's, but you just take a couple of those, sprinkle them into your servings, and it's magical, you guys. It's so good. I think it's uh, definitely worth trying, okay? If you have like a sweet tooth like I do. So go ahead and take a look at that. The other desserts that I got, which I'm really excited to try these, I have not yet though. Good pop. So these are frozen popsicles. They also have like a cream based version with chocolate, vanilla, that kind of thing. But these are strawberry lemonade, barely any ingredients in it, and looks pretty legit. So 
ready to try strawberry lemonade. I love that flavor. So this is a good choice if you have that craving during the hot days. Um, and then for my breakfast, along with the Ezekiel bread that I mentioned, the orange one right here, I make some eggs. And then I get these like all the time. Applegate, get these, okay? They're usually like the healthy living section. Um, and it's a really easy way to get some protein. It does have a little fat, but it's chicken, right? So it's a little better than trying to eat bacon for breakfast, okay? And then on top of that, I did have some eggs right here. I got these during quarantine when I couldn't find eggs. And these are like egg white patties. So they're just frozen egg whites. So you take them out, they're like little, little patties, little slices. You take a piece of it off and then I microwave it, right? And then while my toast is getting toasted, I put this with some cheese on top and I make a little sandwich. So it's a really good option, okay? And a couple other things that I have gotten and I like for a quick lunch, getting some of these Amy's burritos. I don't recommend these all the time. It's a little higher in the carbs, but it is still less than 350 calories and it will fill you up for your lunch. Just microwave it and go. All right, don't try to do the oven instructions because that will take you like an hour and it's stupid for this tiny little thing. So microwave it and cut it up and it's good to go. And then the other couple things that I like to eat on a regular basis is Real Good. It's a brand that has a lot of like low carb options. The reason why is basically instead of the bread for pizza, or tortillas, right? Any of that carb heavy stuff, they use chicken breast. So it's kind of cool. And this one is the enchiladas. I did get sick and tired of the pizza. It's not the best tasting in my opinion. I would prefer Amy's if you're gonna get pizza to be completely frank. But these are really good options too if you're craving some, just some enchiladas. Um, the sauce is really good and only has four grams of carbs. So look for these. They've got like, this one's the, chicken version they've got some like cheese and stuff like that so look at look them up because for every now and then like these are pretty good okay I always recommend having some frozen rice on hand all right so this is a brown rice all right there's like three packets in here really easy to go all you need is to season it I usually do like a coconut aminos and maybe I'll do a video on that but like it's an alternative to soy sauce and it tastes really, really good, all right? So I recommend trying to get something like that and coating your, your, your rice or mixing the rice with your cauliflower rice. And there you go, less carbs and more filling, right? Um, the only other thing I have tried, this is clearly almost done, <laughs> but I get these little bagel thins because sometimes I want to make breakfast sandwiches and they're like these basically bagels, but very, very thin, so it takes out like most of the carbs. Okay, so I would recommend these if you want bagels, if you crave them and you just don't want the heavy bread part of it. This is a really good option. I think these are just made by like the same one that makes like the English muffins. It's in the same area, so yeah, Thomas. Thomas is the brand, Bagel Thins. All right, almost done you guys. Last couple things, so I saw this while I was getting my fries. The Alexia brand, I'm all about them. And I'm really excited to try this. It's a Mexican style street corn. I looked at the, um, at the nutrition label and I didn't feel too bad, right? Like I looked at it and I was like, okay, for one serving, I can manage this, right? But this would be in replacement of my carbs, right? It would not be in addition to my french fries. It would be to replace it, all right? So there is a strategy behind how you eat these things and you don't want to eat them all together because that defeats the purpose of what you're trying to do. So if you have any questions and you want more help, like so you say you bought all this stuff and you're like, okay, but now I don't know how to pair them together and I don't know how to eat them on a day-to-day -day basis without going over my limits, um, reach out to me and I can definitely help you out with that, okay? Because these are not labeled as like healthy meals, most of them. Um, some of them are, but like the fries are not a healthy option, but the way you eat them, is what makes it healthy, all right? So just keep that in mind. And the last thing I'm gonna say is at, in terms of protein, I always have some frozen salmon in the fridge, always. And then I just found these chicken parmesan. I wouldn't eat this with pasta, I would just pair this with some veggies. 
because it has like the coating on the bread, but they look really good. And they're just H-E-B brand, you know, chicken parmesan. And it's like no antibiotics, like all the good stuff, no artificial ingredients, no preservative, blah, blah, blah. But um, seems like a pretty legit thing to have on the go when I don't want to make a whole thing of bread and chicken. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think I mentioned the grilled chicken breast as a protein source. So as you can see, again, like most of the stuff on here is not labeled necessarily healthy. Um, maybe they are, maybe some things are, yeah. But in reality, you can take all of this and run with it. You can feed your family. Your kids will love you for giving them waffle fries. Um, you'll make it really easy on yourself on pizza night, right? And you don't have to stress so much about what you're eating. All right, so if you need any help with this, I know I just gave you a whole lot of stuff. Um, I just talked forever, but if you need help with how to eat this stuff in order to fulfill your goals and make sure that you hit them without going over, message me and we'll talk because I have a strategy to help you kind of eat these the right way, all right? So again, if you have any questions, let me know, comment below, and I'll get back to you.